I like basketball, um, and I like to play basketball. I wish I had a basketball right now. So, oh, look at that, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate you bringing that basketball to church. God bless you, man. That's amazing. Hey, um, hey, uh, uh, Pastor Josh, can you mind coming up here right now? If you don't mind, just just use your athletic self and just jump on up here. Look at that, like a like a gazelle. Um, <laughs> can you hold that mic for me just a second? I, I like I like I like. It's mm, good. All right, hold the mic up. Okay, can you stand up, Cole? Can you stand up and just make a make a make a net for me? Make a net. Now listen, bro. Listen, I love you. You're a smart dude, but right now your face is the backboard. All right, so. Turn, turn sideways for your boy, cause not you, no, not your face, <laughs> whole body. Just give me nothing but net right there. Now move up a little bit from that sweet lady to sit beside you that has no idea what's getting ready to happen. It might be her first time. We don't know. All right, here we go. Y'all give give me a hand. Memorial and, and Martin Ramos. Give me some. Okay, that, hey, we can put you on the market, the moving net. That's what it does. Just make, you never miss. Thanks, man. Now, listen, what was funny is when I got up here and bounced it between my legs, around my back, some of y'all were like, ah, cowboy pastor's a baller, shot collar. I don't know what that means. Don't, don't Google that. Um, but here's what's funny. Look, I look a little bit like I got game because I can dribble and around my back and all this stuff. But I, 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 I ain't got game. None. Zero. Zero. None. And here's why. Because I was raised in the country, and I didn't have anybody to play basketball with. So I always played basketball by myself. And when you play basketball by yourself, you are always the best player on the court. And even, <laughs> even when I missed a shot, the crowd went wild. You know, I was always Jordan, even though I never dunked. In my dreams, Jordan didn't dunk. He always shot with the fade, and I could do the layup. It was always good. The problem is, whenever I grew a little bit and started playing basketball with some other dudes, I was terrible. <laughs> Because I'd never had a team, I'd never had a coach, and I'd never had opposition. So in order to overcome opposition, you have to start with a coach and a team. You have to have somebody who can help you. And many of us have not received our identity from Christ. We're just running out there acting like we're bad. You ever played basketball with the dude who comes with all the gear? You know what I mean? Basketball guys, you know what I'm talking about? Like all the gear, like he's like right out there. He's like looking cool, got everything on, can't play ball at all, but he looks like he can. People are like, I want him. And then it's like, why did I pick him? He's awful. Because he looks the part, but he can't play the game. And some of us at times, and this is the saddest thing to me, I meet believers who are struggling with their faith because they look strong, but they're not. Because they haven't spent time with the coach or the team. So when opposition shows up, they fall apart. And the game falls apart. And now when circumstances go wrong, I'm talking to somebody under the sound of my voice. When circumstances go wrong, now I begin to question my faith because I thought God would bring me through this. But you haven't talked to him in over a month. And so it's hard for him to give you strength. Listen, your walk with Christ, your identity, your power, your strength is only as strong as your prayer life. So how strong are you?